Zero class. This is information sheet number 5 about Microsoft Excel for teachers. After this information sheet, you must be able to discriminate the MS Excel window to other Microsoft applications and design spreadsheets utilizing the formula and functions for teaching purposes. So this information sheet will be divided into three videos. Okay, so let us start first with the Excel window. So before we proceed to the parts of the Excel window, let us first know what is Microsoft Excel. It is a spreadsheet program that allows you to store, organize, and analyze information. While you may believe Excel is only used by certain people to process complicated data, anyone can learn how to take advantage of the program's powerful features. Whether you're keeping a budget, organizing a training log, or creating grade sheet, Excel makes it easy to work with different types of data. So for those of you na hindi pa nakapag-try ng Excel, um, siguro sa umpisa, sa tingin ninyo eh, medyo mahirap siyang gamitin or complicated ang operation. Pero once na makabisado nyo na yung mga different parts and functions ng Excel, madali na para sa inyo, lalo na kayo na future teachers, magagamit nyo na talaga ito sa pag-organize ng inyong mga class records and mas mapapadali ang buhay nyo sa pag-compute ng mga grades. Okay, we now proceed dun sa mga different parts of the Excel window. So, itong aking ginagamit na version is 2019. So, dun sa ating module, ang meron dyan ay 2016, pero halos pareho lang naman din yung, yung interface ng 2016 and 2019. So, what are the different parts of the Excel screen? We have the Quick Access Toolbar. So, ito yung nasa upper portion or top portion ng ating screen. As the name implies, the Quick Access Toolbar gives you quick access to frequently used commands. This toolbar is completely customizable and can be positioned above or below the ribbon commands. So, dito sa akin, ang default talaga niya nasa taas. So, sabi pwede mong i-customize. So, just click this uh, drop-down button. Para matchkan ninyo kung ano yung mga quick access toolbar na kailangan ninyo. So, usually, save, undo, redo. Kung gusto nyong i-quick access yung new, pwede nyong chikan yan. So, yan na yung new button natin. Kung gusto nyo naman ilagay dyan yung print preview. Bago kayo mag-print, gusto nyo makita muna. So, pwede nyo rin chikan yung print preview button. Okay, next part are the tabs. So, this is the tabs. Groups of like commands are organized under tab names. Click a tab to view the commands in the ribbon. So, ang naka-highlight agad sa atin ay home tab. Dahil ito yung madalas natin gagamitin. So, sa home tab, doon natin makikita yung mga ribbons. Yung ribbon interface. Displays tab commands organized into groups. If you click the different tabs, you will see the commands change. Notice that some of the commands might be grayed out. This is because those commands are only usable in certain situations. The file tab, which opens a backstage view, is also included here. Okay, so dito, katulad nga na nabanggit kanina, naka-open natin home tab. So ito yung pinaka- Ribbon, yung mga nasa ilalim niya, kung ano yung mga buttons na pwede natin makita sa home tab na nakagrupo rin. So, we, we have clipboard, font, alignment, number, styles, cells, editing. So, each tab ay may mga kanya-kanyang ribbons. Okay. Then, yung mga buttons na nakagray, 
ibig sabihin, uh, may mga certain situations na pwede nyo lang ma-access yung mga buttons na yun. Tapos, itong file tab, so dyan natin, yan, pwede tayong mag-open ng existing workbook, mag-create ng new workbook, mag-save, mag-print, at kung ano-ano pa ang function. So, balik tayo sa home. Ayan. Another part of the Excel is the name box. So, yung name box, ito yon. The name box, every cell has a name in the format or column row. The name of the currently selected cell called the active cell is shown in the name box. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang makikita nyo sa name box ay yung active cell. Malalaman natin active cell kapag naka-highlight siya ng green. Okay? Naka-border na green. So, pag kindik natin dito, halimbawa, ayan na yung active cell. So, sinasabi sa name box ang active cell natin ay C4. Next, we have the formula bar. Ito naman yung ating formula bar. The formula bar allows you to enter data in a cell. Data can be alphanumeric, pictures, symbols, or as the name suggests, formula. Okay, so since wala naman tayong nakalagay pa sa ating workbook, wala pa tayong makikita sa ating formula bar. Next, we have the working area. The data contained in the file will be shown here. So, ito na yung pinaka-working area natin. Yung malaking space na yan. So, may idea ba kayo kung ilang rows and ilang columns meron sa isang Excel worksheet? Okay. So, ipa-flash ko dyan kung ilan ba yung rows and columns sa isang worksheet. The worksheet tabs. So, ito yung ating worksheet tabs. Every Excel file is properly referred to as a workbook. A workbook can contain one or more worksheets, just like an accounting ledger can contain one or more pages. Click the tabs to switch between different worksheets. So, by default, ang lagi nating uh, una makikita ay yung sheet 1. Okay? So, yung sheet 1, pwede naman natin i-rename yan by double-clicking. So, for example, yung ating first worksheet ay class attendant. Okay. And then, pwede tayong mag-add ng additional worksheet. So, click plus. Okay. So, automatic. Ang default name niya ay sheet 2. Pero, i-rename natin ng class Records. So, ang bawa yung mga activities niya, dyan na natin ilalagay. Okay, so yan yung ating uh, worksheet tabs. Okay, next we have status bar. The, this bar is used to display information about the workbook. Any running calculations will be shown here. There are also some zoom and view commands here. So, ito yung status bar. So, usually, kapag may mga data na tayo dyan, may makikita tayo sa status bar. So, for example, mag-type ako dito ng mga numbers from 1 to 5. Okay. So, once na i-highlight ko, for example, itong numbers na tinipe ko, Ayan, mapapansin ninyo sa status bar, nagkaroon na ng parang computation dyan. So, kinuha niya yung total ng selected cells. Binilang niya kung ilan yung data nung nakaselect. And, in-average din niya yung mga data na nakahighlight. So, yan yung status bar. Aside from dito sa status bar, pwede nyo rin makita yung pag-zoom ng worksheet. So, pwede nyo liitan. Pwede nyo lakihan yung view. Okay. Then, ito rin. Naka-normal view. Page layout view. Pwede. Or, naka-page break view. Okay. 
So, yan. Pero usually, dito tayo sa normal view. And the last part is the scroll bars. So, dito na sa ating right side ng screen, yung ating scroll bars. So, pwede natin scroll up, down, and left to right. So, those are the different parts of the Excel window. Watch out on our next video for the continuation of the advanced lessons in Excel.